Hello and welcome to solosecurity.com. This tutorial is about Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 at Twix. As you know, there are millions of people around the world who are, are fed up using Windows 8 and 8.1. The design and the format is completely changed. So if this is the first thing you see when you come on the main desktop and uh, if I click desktop I just go here and uh, if you want to go to let's say start menu it just takes you back here so you have to go on the right hand side of the the screen for you to find out what's happening and search it is very difficult for everybody that's why everybody's using these days Windows 7 and if you want to downgrade from 8.1 or 8 to 7 uh, Microsoft made so difficult to, to downgrade you just give up you don't know what to do so what we're going to do is we'll just use some tweaks to change the way the things are running the first and the most annoying things ever for microsoft is this one nothing you can do about the switch between apps swipe see you try everything nothing moves it doesn't do anything at all and it's here every time if you run anything at all the background here nothing you can do about it so there's a, a very simple way of disabling. We have to do from a GP edit. So if I go this side of the corner and search group policy, edit.msc, which is Microsoft, we can just edit. And we can see now how difficult it is. You see, you cannot move, we cannot see anything at all. So the only way to do it is just I have to move it from this side. And it makes it even more difficult. And then what we need to do is just go under user configuration. There's a administrative templates. Click this one. And after that, Windows component. And then you see Edge UI. Click that one. And you have to go, well, on the right, you need to go here. On the right side of the screen, which is a very, very difficult to see because the way things are here. So I have to put, push it all the way down So because you cannot see it. It's impossible to see anything at all. So once you click that, you double click this one, which is um, disable help tips, and then enable from here. Not configured, disabled, and enable. Enable in the middle. This says by default, uh, if you do this, this, and that, just say apply. Okay, that's done. So if I just uh, go uh, to the desktop and uh, the only thing I need to do is just lock out this user basically or next time when I restart or do anything at all it will just come back and uh, we can use but let's just say restart the system and I can lock out if there was other user I can easily lock out once it comes back that will disappear uh, completely you will never have it again and that's the best thing ever. So we'll just have to wait until the system comes back without even a switching of the camera so we, we can see what's happening in the background. And once you do that, the, the second most annoying thing is lock screen, which is a, a very, very difficult. Every time, if you live within a couple of seconds, it's a kind of screensaver. It just comes and goes completely. And it's very annoying. You have to click all the time and, and do some change. And, uh, you know, it's just ridiculous. So what we need to do is we just have to uh, a change. By the way, earlier you can see the system. It was saying universal. I change. Uh, this is the first option, opportunity of restarting. But it's really universal, but when, when it comes up. So now, whatever happens, if I go here and uh, I change settings, and if I go to change B setting, you will never see it again. It's not going to come back here. And second thing is these things. Lock screen is very, very annoying. Nothing you can do is always here. It's very annoying. Every time you click something, it just does not disappear. And there's a way of doing this one. If I go to the same place and search Microsoft console, I'll just have to go to the same place. And now we can clearly see without any problem at all because that tip thing is gone. Instead of going a user a configuration, we have to go to a computer under the computer, a setting, and then 
uh, same place here and then what we need to do is C panel here after the C panel uh, personalization once you click that then let's just go back this way and do not display the lock screen double click that and once you do that enable apply OK and that will completely disappear you will never see it again and then the other things we need to do is we've got the windows tweaks you see here the problem you click there it goes there straight away if i double click this one i've got start is back plus for windows 8.1 and the version is 1.5 you double click this one first thing i do is i've got registration i made here yes yes done and double click install it's very very useful a system of windows 8 or 8.1 is going to look like windows 7 install for me or for everyone it doesn't matter this version is going to work anyway it's going to look like and then now the only thing you need to do is just a configure and um, see everything you see however you like the way system functions everything is in here you can just change whatever you like and disable whatever you like and apply and done after that you see we've got ourselves a windows a 7 a format you don't have to worry about clicking anything at all here just click it and goes there but while we're still here if i click here and disable i need to disable a a, U, a uac setting so if i click here and write ms config let's just go here tools you see the change user account launch this one and drop down all the way you don't have to see this annoying things all the time this is i think this is one of the worst thing as well for microsoft they keep saying it's for security purposes but what's the point you have to have a firewall and antivirus anyway so it doesn't make any sense at all to have this kind of things yes done gone disappeared we don't need that things anymore so uh, everything is done the only thing left for us is to do that's uh, one of my favorite things microsoft we need to set up uh, a password for the account which is slightly different if i go to the site and uh, just search you can search pictures and uh, pi if i search pictures sign in options and then just say add account we'll ask you to create a password obviously and let's create a password one more time and the hint is usual xxx next and finish and it's done now we've got strong password picture password at now and the same password i created just now and say okay choose the picture i've got a picture of my son here He's three years old. He was he's three years old, but this picture was when he was about one year old. Highlight that one and open. So what you have to do is now let's just move it around here. Picture. This is very interesting. Drag your picture to the position in the way you want. Use this picture. Okay, let's use this one. It's gonna give you a draw of three gestures. It's like those iPhones. So we're gonna use as a password. Number one, right eye. Number two, me to you here. And number three is right hand. And we have to do one more time. Right hand, right eye, me to you, and right hand. That's it. Done. So now the only thing I need to do is just go to the, the main desktop and just say a sign out. And we, this is when we come back here. Now, the only way we can access uh, the Windows 8 or 8.1 is to use a password we know, which is 1, 2, and 3. Uh, it says welcome straight away. That's how you access. I think it's kind of cool. I like it. So if you want to uh, go back again and just say a sign out, and you can actually switch to password, which is you can go to the password, normal password, the password you created early, or you can just say sign using image 
and if you try to click any anywhere it's not going to work the picture password is incorrect so nobody can actually guess what you're trying to do because how many places can you click it's impossible by the way after third time of trying it will block the system so it's secure enough so, okay let's go right eye mute you and right then and just say welcome if you need to contact me the email is the same 21st october at gmail.com you can always have a look at solarsecurity.com like and a comment till next time say cheerio